Hi and welcome to this presentation on a 3CX voice application designer. My name is Nick Galia and in this series of videos you will learn what you can do with a 3CX voice application designer. The 3CX voice application designer is a visual design tool that allows you to easily create voice applications. Voice applications are programs that interact with the user via the phone and then perform certain logic. For example, you could create a voice application that asks for the caller to input a customer number, which is then verified against a database. Based on a customer number, a call can be routed to a certain queue. Because the 3CX VAD is entirely visual, little telephony or programming knowledge is required. So how does it work? The 3CX VAD allows creating voice applications in three simple steps. In the first place, you visually create your application. Each application consists of a number of building blocks called components. For example, menu, prompt playback and user input are a few of the most common components. Each component has particular configuration options. When you have put together your voice application, it is a project. Once you have your application ready, you can build it. When the VAD builds a project, it creates voice XML scripts that can be run on any 3CX phone system commercial edition. You can develop it on any machine that meets the system requirements and then upload it to a 3CX phone system install. Using a digital receptionist or a DID number, you can then link to your voice application. In that way, callers can be directed to your application either directly by calling the DID or using a menu. From within voice applications, you can link back to call queues, extensions, digital receptionists, and so on. Writing a script is a question of dragging and dropping components of your application. Here, for example, we add a transfer component to transfer the call to the operator after playing a message. The voice application designer is fully featured. It allows you to visually design your application, deploy it to 3CX phone system, and debug it step by step, watching variable values and the execution path. 3CX VAD is available in two editions. The free edition allows using the entire functionality, but only with a limited set of built-in components. Components available in the free edition are the menu component, which allows selecting a branch based on a single digit entered by the user, the user input component, that can be used to collect one or more digits from the user, the prompt playback component, which allows playing an audio file to the user, the transfer component, that can be used to transfer the call to an extension, a queue or another IVR and the disconnect call component, which allows dropping the call. Any other component will be disabled in the toolbox. The commercial edition adds more advanced components. The record component allows recording audio from the user, which can be saved to a file or played back again. The conditional component allows selecting one or multiple branches depending on runtime conditions. The variable assignment, increment variable and decrement variable components allow changing the values of variables during execution. The loop component allows executing a set of components multiple times while a condition is met. The exit call flow component is used to completely finalize the call flow execution. Other advanced built-in components available in the commercial edition allow encrypting and decrypting of data, accessing SQL Server, Oracle or any ODBC database, sending emails 
optionally with attachments, executing code in a JavaScript file, a .NET library or a COM component, reading and writing of files, connecting to servers using sockets, requesting web pages and executing web services. The project is your actual application composed of call flows and components. A call flow is a particular interaction with a caller, i.e. a group of actions formed by a group of components. For example, asking for a user's customer number, validating it against a database, playing a prompt message and transferring the user to a queue. A component is the basic building block of a call flow. Such as play a menu, get user input and so on. Components are always a part of a call flow or a more complex component. You can also create custom components with custom functionality. The main difference between call flows and custom components is that call flows can be the starting point of a call, while custom components cannot. Call flows and custom components have three kinds of flows. The main flow, the error handler flow and the disconnect handler flow. The flow type can be selected using the tabs located in the bottom of the designer. The main flow is the execution path in normal conditions. The call will visit each component in the main flow as long as no error occurs. When an error occurs, execution continues on the error handler flow of the document. When the call gets disconnected, execution continues on the disconnect handler flow of the document. If an error occurs in a call flow or a custom component, the execution continues on the error handler flow. If that error handler cannot handle the error, then the error handler of its parent is executed. For example, if you have a database access error, but your error handler only contains a branch for external code execution errors, then the execution continues on the error handler of the parent document. If the call gets disconnected, the execution continues on the disconnect handler flow of the document. Then the disconnect handler flow of its parent is executed and so on until executing the disconnect handler of the call flow that received the call. If an error occurs when executing the disconnect handler, the error handler is executed. Thank you very much for your attention. We invite you to watch the second part of the introduction to 3CX Voice Application Designer.